All right, this is the bobbin for your treadle machine. It's called a shuttle bobbin, and we're gonna learn how to wind this first. You're, you have to disengage the little knob over here. You'll, you'll twist it and you'll fill it loose in. This, when you are, are sewing, this is against your machine. When you're gonna wind the bobbin, you're gonna pull it out so it's tight against this belt right here. Your bobbin's gonna pop in here, so just sits like that, spring-loaded, and it holds it in tight. Thread from here into this little notch and in this little groove right here which, which is guide which is what guides it on your bobbin get it started here sorry I'm not very talented with this thing Keep it in that groove. Ooh. And that's what happens if you go backwards. You don't want to do that. You want to keep it going. This takes a little practice, which I've not had. And that will just move back and forth to wind your bobbin. You take your bobbin out and you're going to leave about that much on there. And then you're going to tighten back up your little knob over here and push this back against your machine so that it's not engaged in the belt. For your bobbin, I have one in here, so I'll show you. This is your shuttle, and this is your bobbin. So your thread should come up and over your bobbin like this. You need to have several inches on your tail. You're going to take your shuttle like this, with this little piece right here facing you. And you're going to drop your bobbin in there. You're going to hold it with your finger. Bring it down through this little groove right here. Oh, sorry. There's a little groove right on the top. You're going to bring it down right here. Down through here and up and around. And you'll feel it. It, it comes up through here. It's kind of hard to see in the video but that's where it will come up through. So then you're gonna put your bobbin down in here. This flat side is gonna go against this area right here, and it should fit fairly snug in there. It'd be a little loose, but mostly snug. Put this down in here. Now we're gonna thread the machine before we grab the thread from the bobbin. So you're gonna have your thread right here. It's gonna go over here. You need to move so that you're gonna see this all, okay? You're going to come down around in between your two discs here. Can you see that? You're going to bring it up, and it's just going to go underneath that little spring right there. It's just going to stay right there like that. Oh, that might be too bright on the camera. You're right. And then you're going to thread it this way to that way. You're gonna come down through this little loop right here. You go through this little loop right here. Needle in the up position, and you're gonna th thread from left to right. And I need a pair of scissors. Hold on one second, he's gonna grab me a pair of scissors to short to sharpen the end of this thread so I can snip it. Thank you. Alright, so you're gonna thread from left to right. 
You need to take a special needle, special shuttle, and special bobbin, and you'll have to do a little research to find out which ones go in here. Um, but because it is a shuttle machine, it does take a special one. So you pull your hand wheel towards you and run your thread down in there so that it catches your bobbin thread. And you're gonna pull them both up through the hole in the bottom before you start sewing and before you close this case. Okay. And you wanna have plenty of thread on these kind because it takes a lot to get the machine moving and otherwise it'll pull your thread out of your needle. So then you close your case right here like this. And remember, when you are sewing on a treadle machine, the hand wheel needs to be coming, rotating this direction. So sometimes it's a little tricky to get it started. I'll raise the needle here, put my presser foot down. This knob right here will adjust the amount of pressure on your pressure foot. All right, and then you just move your feet back and forth. Back up, Ken, and show her the feet part. Keep it sewing. All right, bring it back up here closer and on the end on the needle area. You'll see it takes a screw on presser foot, not the normal snap on. This is your tension, so if your stitches are not quite right, you can adjust your tension right here, tighten and loosen it right here. Um, I think that's probably about it. I would suggest taking a photograph of the way it's threaded, so you'll remember. Use only good quality thread because it will shred them in these older machines, it'll shred the cheap thread. This is your stitch length adjuster right here. So this allows you to change the length of your stitches. Um, belts are readily available on Amazon. Like I said, you're gonna to have to do the research on the needles and the bobbins because it will take a special one for this. All right, I think that's probably good.